Listen, let me tell you the difference between a sickness or a disease that is maybe a natural, of natural cause and that which is demonic. The difference is that anything that is natural, the leaves, huh? He says that the leaves of those trees are for the healings of the nation. That means anything that is of a natural cause, are we together now? There has to be, with the level of advancement of medicine, there should be a solution to it. The moment it defies drugs that have been made from the elements of God's creation, it tells you that there is a spirit that has come to partner with that condition. Longevity of troubles of any kind happen when spirits partner with situations. They no longer become normal. So there is poverty as a result of not knowing the laws of wealth, for instance. You see that? That is a natural consequence. But when a spirit partners with that mindset, it becomes the spirit of poverty. So there are two things you have to do to save that person. One, that spirit that is behind that condition has to be taken out of that person's life. Then two, his mind will have to receive a superior orientation. That's what brings total deliverance for that person. Are we together? So you can say, I have headache. When you stretch yourself as medicine teaches us, it's possible that you can have your body just responding in unfavorable ways. But when that becomes a condition that defies medicine and the doctors have done their best, that one now, a spirit has seen a loophole and it has come to lay sway on it. And in the name of Jesus, any spirit that is behind any infirmity and any condition, it must let you go this night. Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen, spirits do not just attach themselves to bodies. Spirits attach themselves to situations. You need to understand this. James 2.26 For a body without a spirit is dead. Anything that is alive, the trouble that plagues many, you can see that that trouble is alive. There is a spirit that gave it life. Are we together? The power of God is not just limited to healing sick bodies. There are situations that have been empowered to remain because there are spirits behind it. And it will be a waste to just discuss and hope and wish. It takes the manifestation of the power of God for those spirits to depart. You believe me. This is what I've done every day of my life. So many people can have situations now as captured in your prayer request you call it different names, but the truth is that in the realm of the spirit, for most of these situations, there are spirits. The loggerheads between a man and his wife, you may have, there may, there may be certain logical reasons, but behind it, there are spirits empowering the continuity of that pain. Are we together? Depletion, all kinds of negative conditions. This is why I took the time to welcome you to this miracle service because it will be your miracle service in the name of Jesus Christ. I say it again that it will be your miracle service. Jesus, as the son of the living God, without the empowerment and the partnership of the Holy Spirit, could not do much when he walked upon the earth. The madman in Gadara, the Bible lets us know that as a normal man, we would see the later part of his life. An ordinary man, very kind man, well behaved, but not when these violent spirits came. The Bible says he will cut himself. You get a knife or some sharp object and try to lacerate yourself in your sound mind and see how painful it is. So it takes, there are people who hurt themselves. They hurt themselves with unwise decisions. They hurt themselves by moving consciously into zones that cause danger to their lives. They think they are going on their own, but there are spirits that lead men to trouble. The same way the Holy Spirit leads men to favor. Do you not know that there are people, the moment there is a scheming of trouble these spirits lead them there they never wake up in the morning and return in peace as they leave their house you know they are coming back with trouble trouble with the police trouble with some kind of thing you go to the mall and trouble just looks for you there Is the Lord provoking someone? 
So the supernatural and the, and the miraculous will always demand actions of obedience. Always demand actions of obedience. Experiencing the power of God is not difficult when you understand the dynamics of its operation. Whatsoever he tells you to do, he says do. The simplicity of faith has robbed many people from receiving extraordinary mirac miraculous results because sometimes we become too calculative and too scientific or we meditate on the pains and the problems so much that based on the frame of our reasoning we cannot see how a miracle will happen in the midst of that situation how shall these things be mary said seeing that i know not a man and gabriel replies and says the holy ghost the power of the highest shall overshadow you there are many things that you may not need to ask how it will happen leave that to the office of the holy spirit he's a master over chaos and darkness you have been taught tonight don't ask how the ear will open tonight don't ask how the bones will be corrected there are many many things that you only have to be god to really understand there are certain things that are left it is exclusive to his office hallelujah how someone holding a crutch will throw it away and now begin to walk how so, a, some miracle will happen to a little baby how someone who is far in europe far in america far somewhere in africa or even this nation will receive a miracle right in your room while a preacher is speaking here leave that one to the holy spirit how a ministry that has been going down no doors opening with one prophetic declaration and it looks like the gates are open leave that to the holy spirit how a prodigal son a prodigal daughter roaming around the street making a waste of their lives how they will be impacted by the spirit of god and return back home to a life of honor and dignity leave that to the holy spirit how your boss who has told you he hates you openly will change his mind and be the greatest advocate of your rising. Leave that to the Holy Spirit. How a tenant becomes a landlord before December. Leave that to the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How a student who is not doing well suddenly becomes extraordinarily intelligent. Leave that to the Holy Spirit. I'm showing you that there are many burdens you are carrying that is not your business. The dynamics of the operation of the miraculous is not your business. It's not God will not burden you with that kind of responsibility. The Holy Spirit, leave him to collide with the darkness. Leave him to collide with the sickness. Yours is to say, yes, I believe. Yes, I believe. What instruction is it that you are giving now? Yes to your will, Lord yes to your ways oh yes lord we will obey yes to your will lord yes to your ways oh yes lord we will obey yes to your will Yes to your ways, oh yes, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, when you understand this about the supernatural, it will help your faith. You are interrupting spirituality with science. You are interrupting spirituality with excessive, exaggerated intellectualism. Is the reason why it must make sense before you believe. Unfortunately, that's not how the realm of the spirit works. Is the reason why people who are not, not so enlightened seem to receive the miraculous faster. Because the frame of their reasoning is fragile enough for the Holy Spirit to override. Sometimes intelligence can be a blockade. Is the reason why the scribes and the Pharisees had it. It was, it was difficult for them to believe. But the woman with the issue of blood, not after that pain. She reached out, if I may but touch his garment. That's the end of it. How the power flows. 
I don't need to study what are the five conductors of the anointing. I will study them, but in the midst of my pain now, all I need is for the power to flow. Hallelujah. So many of us have come now and you came here with bills. You are in debt, say for instance, or you are having some kind of court cases. And whilst you are sitting down, the frame of your thinking, okay, God, I know you will do this, but can you at least prove to me? Let a rich man sit down near me. At least that's a first logical sign. And God says, nonsense. You don't know who you are talking to. You are not talking to a carpenter. You are not talking to a professor. You are talking to the creator of the ends of the earth.